All right, hear me, because I know this is going to bless someone today. I've got a word for you. The Lord is pulling this around full circle, okay? I won't go back to what it is because I only have a short amount of time that he's pulling around full circle, but let's hit what he showed me last night that just, like, blew my mind. So my daughter is playing with those little pop-up tunnels, those little, like, toddler pop-up tunnels that you can crawl through. So she had her whole body inside of it. And she was playing around. I'm like, what are you doing? And she goes, I'm going inside of here and I'm becoming a caterpillar. And I'll come out um, when I'm a butterfly. And I was like, okay, well, when, when is that going to be? And she's like, three years. And I'm like, I feel like I've heard this before. And it really actually surprised, surprised me because it only takes a butterfly a little bit of time to actually become to break down and become a butterfly, which I thought was insane because it's only a short amount of time that they take. So I looked it up again and I'm going to read to you word for word what it says. All right. Many species of butterflies will spend less than a week undergoing metamorphosis. What is a metamorphosis? It's a transformation process that they go through inside the chrysalis. The caterpillar crawls inside the chrysalis and is literally liquefied and broken down into, um, liquid and then is transformed into a whole nother creature, right? But most emerge as a butterfly within about three weeks. It takes them about three weeks. That's super significant too, that number three. Same, um, some may wait as long as three years though, three years, significant, to leave the chrysalis. But it has less to do with the rigors of the metamorphosis and the transformation process. And it has more to do with the environment around them that blew my mind, guys. So if we take all of that and we bring it back to the word of God, when we follow Christ, he takes us through a wilderness process. He takes us through a pruning process where he is uprooting and pulling out all of those strongholds that are rooted not in a foundation of him. Everything that the Lord has, or everything that the world has, you know, molded us into being, he has to uproot all of that and, and pull all of those roots. And it literally in this process feels like we are dying because we are dying to who we thought we were, but we are being called to who the Lord has created us to be. And he has to make us firmly rooted in him. So it's a whole transformation process. It's a metamorphosis, right? So a lot of us are ready to break free. A lot of us are ready to get out of that chrysalis, but we're still stuck in that those same environments that had us stuck in what the world created us to be. And we have to break out of those environments.